Hello Leo, welcome to another love reading. This reading will be all about the person that you are thinking about or connecting with. What are their thoughts, feelings towards you at this time? And what are their intentions towards you in the future? Keep in mind that these readings are general, so it won't resonate for every Leo watching. And not every Leo reading on my channel will resonate for you. So let's jump right in for Leo, for the sign of Leo, spirits, angels, guides. What messages, insight do you have for Leo regarding love? What does Leo need to know regarding love relationships? The person they are thinking about connecting with at this time. What do we need to know for Leo? Okay, let's go. Let's look at um, what's going on in your connection right now. The energies between you and this other person. Spirit, tell us what's going on for Leo in love. What are the energies in this connection between Leo and this person? Death reverse, Scorpio energy. What's going on for Leo in this connection? What's going on? The sun, interesting. What does Leo need to know about what's going on in this connection? The Fool. Bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Swords. So this is very interesting because the Fool and the Sun, I'm getting that there's something out in the open uh, in this connection or some sort of situation that um, is seen very clearly. Like I'm literally getting the sun shining on an opportunity or a new beginning. Um, I'll see if I'm right about that because we're going to clarify. But death is reversed. Uh, Scorpio energy here. Death reversed typically is someone or whether it's you or your person, doesn't matter, resisting change, resisting an ending, or there's an ending or change that's delayed or blocked. There could be an ending or a change looming in this connection. Um, now, I've already kind of told this to Sagittarius and I posted it on my channel. Um, keep in mind that I film these videos weeks in advance um, just because of the time, because I do work a full-time job. So I have to kind of schedule the readings um, throughout the week. And sometimes in order to get them all posted on time, I need to, you know, record them earlier than when I post them. Um, but astrologically, there's a lot of changes happening for all signs in November, December, even January. There's a lot of shifts taking place and a lot of difficult things that and challenges that we're going to all be facing. Almost every sign is having, you know, a similar theme of endings, change, disruptions, um, upheavals, revelations. All of that is like a very common thread on all of these readings that I'm doing. And so we'll see if that's the case for you, Leo. Um, I have a feeling um, that it is because I have the five of swords here at the bottom of the deck. So and I also have the fool, which indicates a new beginning, a new cycle, something new taking place. So obviously there, that something new is typically something different. So we'll see what's going on here. Let's start with this death reverse. Why is death reverse? Why is death reverse? Six of Pentacles. Why is death reverse? Seven of Cups. This could be an illusion with the Seven of Cups. And I say that because the sun is here and I, I'm getting this theme of like shining light. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Let me make sure I'm right about that before you say that. Sorry, can you give us some insight on the Seven of Cups? Two of Swords. Okay, so this is somebody that's unsure, undecided about a decision they have to make. I feel like this is someone that doesn't have the clarity. Notice that they're blindfolded here, blocked. Someone doesn't know what to do. This could be you or your person. It's affecting this connection. It's affecting an ending. Emotions, I feel, are at play here. I think someone is emotionally unsure. Their emotions are probably not helping. 
Now this Six of Pentacles, can I get some insight into the Six of Pentacles? Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Knight of Cups. The Hermit, Virgo energy at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this is what someone is hoping to be given, a Knight of Cups. There's a waiting, I'm getting like a waiting period here, a waiting, someone waiting. It's not really in the cards, but I'm feeling it. Queen of Wands behind that, okay. Yeah, I feel like this is, um, this Knight of Cups could be an apology, it could be an expression of love. I feel like someone wants this from another person. They want to be given this. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Can I get one more? Why is the Six of Pentacles here? What can you tell me? Justice, Libra energy. And then the Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. There's something here with conflict, yeah. Five of Swords, Five of Wands, Seven of Wands. And Justice is here to make things right. Okay, so let's see what's going on with the Sun. The Hermit again. Okay, tell me um, about the Sun. Leo, you are ruled by the sun, so this could be significant. Tell me about the sun. What can you tell me about the sun? King of Cups. Again with the emotions. Knight of Cups, Ace of Cups, King of Cups. What's going on? Tell me about the sun. Why is the sun here? Why is the sun here? The Five of Swords again. The Devil at the bottom of the deck. Capricorn energy. There's something going on here with the sun. I feel like the sun is illuminating you to a five of swords. Because your emotions possibly are not letting you see this. Justice is not emotional. Justice ignores emotions, actually, you could say, because it's completely objective. Justice only cares about the facts, the evidence. Perspective is very important with justice. Logic, reason, rationality. Justice doesn't care about emotions. I feel like Justice is almost here to like step on this Knight of, of Cups to bring balance because someone is blocked. They can't, they can't figure something out or they can't see something for what it is, the Seven of Cups. What is happening, Leo? I feel like something's happening here. Two of Cups, Six of Swords, Page of Cups, yeah. There's something here with a departure, someone leaving a situation, an apology, love, and there's the sun again. This is possibly regarding a connection you have with another person. Now, the Five of Swords is typically a card about not playing fair, not wanting to lose, and so if someone doesn't want to lose, so they play dirty. Tell me about the sun. I want one more, please, for the sun. For Leo. Yeah, there's death. Scorpio energy. I feel like, Leo, you're going to be just another sign that's going through an upheaval in a connection. There could be a connection that ends or changes drastically. This death card is delayed. It's not stopped. There is no stopping this death card, is what I'm seeing here. Because the Fool is here. Tell me about the Fool. Tell me about the Fool. What do we need to know about this Fool? Oh my god. Seven of Swords. What is happening? <laughs> Tell me about the Fool. I am f literally picking up this um, energy of confusion. Like this takes you by surprise, you weren't expecting this, or you're very confused at someone's behavior. Tell me about the Fool. What's going on with the Fool? Ten of Cups. I want one more. Tell me more about the Fool. Tell me more about the Fool. Ten of Wands. Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This is very interesting. I feel like every single card that came out here, every single card that looks good is attached to something that's not so good. Yeah. Six of Cups, Nine of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. Someone's worried, stressed at what's happening. You or another person, the person that you're dealing with. Because it's confusing you. You don't know what to think of this. 
And again, this is going to bring about a big change. Four of Cups, Ace of Cups, the Empress. There's a big change happening here. And I feel like someone's not really prepared for it. Like they don't see it coming. They don't expect it with the Four of Cups because there's emotions tied somewhere else. So I'm talking to a Leo or I'm talking to, yeah, I'm talking to a Leo who is um, the one that is experiencing this or is dealing with a person that's experiencing this. I'm talking to a Leo that is in a connection they don't really want to let go of or they don't want to change or end. Or you're dealing with a person that that's happening with. I hope I'm not confusing you. I feel like this is this 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 fool is leading to a ten of cups, but someone seeing it as a ten of wands because their eyes are not seeing their eyes are not seeing what they need to be seeing. That's why the sun is so important because the sun, when it's out, there are no shadows. There's nothing that can hide from the sun. It's the opposite of the moon. But I feel like there's something I'm missing here. You could be having difficulties with a specific person that you have emotions for or emotions, you know, a past with. But I feel like what's happening is you weren't expect, expecting things to go in this direction, Leo. And so you don't know how to behave or what to think about it. Let's see what is going on between you and this person, because I feel like this is going to be a situation that's very drastically different for all of you. Um, and the sun is here and the sun is about radiance, brightness, clarity. So I feel like there's something that's going to be seen clearly. Okay, so let's let's look at your energies first. I'm gonna have your um your energies on one side and your person's energies on the other. And this reading is for those of you that are already in a connection or have someone in mind. Feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Spirit, can we get some insight into the energies? between Leo and this person that they are dealing with or connecting with at this time. What can you tell us about the energies between Leo and this other person? Tell me about Leo's energy. Tell me about Leo's energy in this connection. Tell me about Leo's energies in this connection. Breathe in. Okay, I want one more for you, Leo. Can I get one more for Leo? I think this one wanted to come out broken silence okay okay tell me about the person leo is dealing with what are their energies okay can i get one more for leo's person can i get one more energy for leo's person what's going on with this person true love reach out burden heart at the bottom of the deck i am not picking up good energy but i don't know why it's like, um, I'm getting like, um, what's that word? What's that word? What's that word? It's not premonition. Uh, like something doesn't feel right. There's a word for that. Tell me more for Leo. Tell me more for Leo. Okay, I want one more for Leo, please. Can you tell me for a Leo? Leo's energy. Mm. Tell me about Leo's person. What can you tell me about Leo's person? This is about a, a connection that already exists or existed recently. This is not an old connection. Tell me about Leo's person. Okay. I feel like someone's going to break their silence. There's going to be an expression, some sort of expressing of feelings. I think it's this person because they're reaching out and they're going to give you something. Um, I feel though that this is going to disrupt your healing or your rest. I'm not sure why I'm picking that up though, because it's not really, I mean, I'll have to see the cards, but it's not really like here. Let me grab a secret moon. Now, this person has feelings for you, true love. And I think it's the same for you. But there's also something else because the burden heart card is here. The Ten of Wands. 
This card, I, it was inspired by the Ten of Wands. What can you tell me about Leo's thoughts, feelings? What can you tell me about Leo's thoughts, feelings? I'm taking action. Okay. What can you tell me about this person's thoughts, feelings towards Leo, towards this connection? What can you tell me about this person's thoughts, feelings towards Leo, towards this connection? You are my soulmate. Okay. There's something off here. I'm sorry, Leo. I know I keep saying that. And some of you are like, why are you saying that? I don't know what to do at the bottom of the deck. And the thing is, I can't explain it yet. <laughs> like, I can't explain what I'm feeling because it's like a premonition. It's like, um, like, uh, like I literally have like, a my stomach in knots. So I'm trying to figure out why I'm feeling that way because on the surface this looks this doesn't look so bad um, you're taking some sort of action um, you were possibly resting not communicating um, this person is reaching out to you they have feelings for you they feel like you are their soulmate their true love etc so what's the problem let me put down some tarot see if this will illuminate me where's the sun for me right spirit can we get some clarity spirit please for leo regarding this situation what am i missing what do we need to know about the energies between leo and this person the reason why i feel like something's missing is because the sun and the death card are there for the re for a reason with the fool something has to change is the message that i'm getting for you leo but why i'm trying to get to the why right Tell me about Leo's energies. Tell me about Leo's energies. Tell me about Leo's energies. Three of Pentacles reverse. Seven of Wands shows up again. Tell me about Leo's energies. Tell me about Leo's energies. Six of Cups. I feel like you're resisting something, fighting back against something. There's an obstacle here that you are standing up against or there's something that you are fighting back can i get one more for leo can i get one more for leo what what is going on for leo what are their energies towards this person this connection the wheel of fortune reverse and then there's the three of swords i'm going to take it because i want to take it and then there's the um temperance card sagittarius energy Again, that, that theme of balance. Tell me about Leo's person. I'm just going to put down their cards while I'm at it. Tell me about Leo's person. What do we need to know about their energies towards Leo, towards this connection? Four of Pentacles. Tell me about this person's energies. Feelings towards Leo, this connection. Queen of Swords, Reverse, Two of Wands, Reverse. What else do we need to know about this person? Oh my gosh, Nine of Cups, Reverse. What else? Five of Wands, yeah, there's something here. The Magician at the bottom of the deck. There's something here that's not really working out for both of you. You have the Wheel of Fortune, Reverse. You have the Three of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, Reverse. Something's not working out for you, but there's a past attachment here with the Six of Cups. The past is relevant. However, I feel like you're fighting back or needing to stand up against someone. Now, your person's trying to get something here, but it's, I mean, they're in a mess. This person's in a mess. They're probably holding on to something with the Four of Pentacles or holding back something because I have the Queen of Swords reverse. This could be the truth. They're holding back the truth. The Two of Wands is reversed, Nine of Cups is reversed, and the Five of Wands is like telling me that there's possibly a situation where this person uh, wants to choose or does not want to choose a path. They want to go down both paths. Or, or whatever path they've chosen is not the right one. Because the Nine of Cups is reversed with the Five of Wands. I feel like there's more problems here. Hmm. What the hell? Like, I feel like I'm getting closer, but it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not giving me the warm and fuzzies. 
Let's start with you. Let me get some clarity. If you hear any noises on the back in the background, there's a thunderstorm right now. Let me get some. Oops. Hang on. Okay, I'm gonna start with you. Now the Three of Pentacles is reversed, which is typically a card about some something that's someone or a group of people that are not working well together. They're not working well together or there's an interference, a person that's kind of causing uh, problems. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Three of Pentacles reverse here for Leo? Oh my gosh, Six of Pentacles again. Tell me more about the Three of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Three of Pentacles reverse? The Fool, yeah, this is connected. There's the Moon, Pisces energy. This is kind of what I was seeing with the Seven of Cups that came up out, out earlier. There's an illusion or something that you are not able to see, but I think you're breaking free of this or you're, you're seeing something, you know? Queen of Pentacles after that, okay. I feel like there's um, there's there's like a balancing that's happening here with the Six of Pentacles. I feel like you're being given an out. But I don't know why. <laughs> I think you're also, you're being given a chance here to change your mind. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Hold on. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here? What's this about? The Seven of Wands. Queen of Cups. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. What can you tell me about the Seven of Wands? Five of Wands. Yeah. I feel like you're blocking your emotions or you are not letting your emotions dictate something for you here. Um... I feel like you're putting on blinders for your emotions. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Five of Wands. There could also be a third party interference here. Drama amongst a group of people and you're just, you don't want to participate in this anymore. Why is the Wheel of Fortune reversed? Now the Wheel of Fortune is reversed, which tells me there's like a stuck um, like like things are at a standstill or things feel like you're not it's not progressing forward it's not going your way and I feel like this could be painful for you or difficult for you with the three of swords here tell me about the wheel of fortune reverse tell me about the wheel of fortune reverse why is the wheel of fortune reverse two of wands Temperance again, Four of Swords, the Devil at the bottom of the deck, Capricorn energy. I think you're being uh, you're, you're being given an opportunity to choose a different path. This might not feel like that to you, but that's what it is. I feel like Spirit is telling you to take time making this decision. Do not rush into this decision. Um, time is literally, I feel, being slowed down for you. I feel like you've been dealing with a an attachment or a restriction, feeling like you your hands are tied, you have nowhere else to go. Perhaps you might be feeling uh, very negative. You probably have been having negative thoughts, negative negative ways of thinking, um, or around toxic uh, people or environments. This has clouded you. I feel like this is a distraction for you. Um, maybe you were too busy thinking about what you couldn't do that you couldn't think of what you could do. What's the Six of Cups about? What's the Six of Cups about? Why is the Six of Cups here? Page of Wands. Ten of Wands. Six of Wands. Knight of Swords. Death. Yeah. 
you are ending something from the past and it's gonna be for for good like it's gonna be it's gonna end up in a happy ending for you i don't think you can see that though because i think you're a page of wands there's some sort of information coming in with the knight of swords that changes things for you um I'm taking action. This is you. Tell me about the two of wands. Why is the two of wands here? Why is the two of wands here? Yep, the ace of wands. So you're you're give, you're being given an opportunity here, Leo. Bottom of the deck is the devil again. You're being given an opportunity to go after a new path or do or go after something new or start somewhere new. Um, but it means you're going to have to give this up. Some of you, this is a physical move. Like you're actually like moving. Okay, so let's switch over to your person. What's going on with this Queen of Swords reverse? Because they're making me nervous. Why is the Queen of Swords reverse? King of Pentacles and the Star... Aquarius energy with a star. King of Pentacles is here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. There is a Queen of Pentacles here as well. King of Pentacles for me tends to already be in some sort of a commitment or a provider of some sort, business person. But the star is here. So that's confusing me because this, this Queen of Swords reverse would not be able to heal anything. I feel like this is somebody that perhaps is having hope or faith in something, but in my mind, this isn't like like it's uh it's misplaced. Tell me about the Queen of Swords reverse. Can I get one more? Why is the Queen of Swords reverse? Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. See, this is weird. Um, this is like this gift card. This is that gift. Someone wants, this person wants to give you a gift that they feel might heal a situation or bring back hope to a situation. However, the Queen of Swords is reversed, which is making me think of like the Seven of Swords. Yeah, this is, this is your person making something happen here. But I think that there's more to this than meets the eye with the Queen of Swords reverse. Tell me about this Four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Yep, the High Priestess. This person is keeping something from you. Tell me about the Five of Wands. This is going to cause problems between you. Tell me about the Five of Wands. Yep, Five of Swords. This is somebody that's going to cause problems because they didn't tell you everything. The Hangman. I feel like this person is going to... Um, they thought this was the best course of action. Um, I feel like this is someone that pretends to take action, but when when you really think about it, there's no movement forward. Um, I don't know how to explain this better, but it's like someone who thinks um, I'm gonna fix things, but it's through words or through a message or through sending something in the mail or something or like a text or something like that, but there's no real action behind it. I'm also getting that this person is stuck, like they're unable to move, and so they're resorting to these these um, energies here, Five of Swords, Five of Wands, because maybe they think this is their only option, but they're not gonna get what they want. Tell me about the Two of Wands reverse. Sometimes this for me can mean someone being unfaithful, because they wanna have their cake and eat it too. Tell me about the Two of Wands reverse. What's this about? the chariot though okay cancer energy they don't want you to make this choice because you would leave or move on without them or move forward without them tell me about this two of wands reverse tell me about the two of wands reverse i think they're the death reverse yep the ten of swords they don't want you to they don't want you to end things and move on that's really what it is if they either don't want to do this with you or they don't want to do this themselves. They don't want to end something in their life to move forward with you or they don't want you to move forward without them. That's why they're giving you this. 
page of pentacles and hoping that that's enough. I don't think this person's going to tell you that though. I don't think they're going to tell you, oh, don't move on without me, blah, blah, blah. Like they're not going to tell you that, but that's really the end goal. Tell me about this hangman. Why is the hangman here? Why is the hangman here? And it could be that they think you're their true love. Yeah, five of pentacles, ten of wands at the bottom of the deck. It could be that they think you're their true love, their soulmate. They might have a strong connection with you that they've never had with anybody else. But I'm going to tell you what I told Sagittarius. The details don't matter. Only the results. Only the outcome. These details of love, giving you a gift, reaching out, telling you that you are their soulmate it doesn't matter if this if the result is the same or the outcome is the same and leads nowhere right and i think you're picking this up because you have the fool you have the sun the knight of swords is here tell me about this knight of swords tell me about the knight of swords what's this knight of swords about Seven of Cups, yep. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. I think this Knight of Swords is going to help you with all of these doubts and confusions that you've had or make you see an illusion clearly. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. It's almost like this Knight of Swords is going to cut through this fog. Yeah, it's going to be about a partnership. Okay, yeah, you were waiting for commitment. You were waiting for growth, abundance, for things to work out for this person. Um, you were waiting for your divine, you thought that, I think in your mind, this is your divine counterpart. And I think for a lot of you, this is. Um, like, I think for a lot of you, this is like a past life connection or a soulmate. But I think this has turned into a karmic partnership. 